Councillor Jason Fitzgerald, who took on this project, says it was becoming too much for the community to deal with. It was just so many accidents, near drownings, um, neighbours rescuing people in distress. And just to educate people that, you know, don't go where you don't know you should go swimming and take precautions, you know, wear a life preserver. And if it's like it is right now, the river, you can hear it behind us, the dam is, is running pretty fast. The river's about two feet higher than normal. It's dangerous. So, you know, I think that was the main goal was to keep people safe in the community. But he says he's pleased with how quickly the province stepped up to ensure this added protection would be here. Uh, amazing. You know, it just shows that we have uh, an amazing MPP in our area and he's working for our area very hard every day. I, I see him in the news every day doing something in our community. So we're lucky to have him and this is fantastic. Uh, hopefully people take note and we don't have any injuries here. So it happened faster than I expected it ever would and it, um, everyone in the village is happy and I think Huntsville is happy as a whole because it's a good thing that we've accomplished here. And while these life-saving measures are in place, Fitzgerald warns this does not mean that you are safe to just jump in the water here at the dam. If you're going to take the risk, you need to be cautious and consider added protection. This is a, a last measure that we implemented here. The signs are hopefully warning people. The life rings are a last resort. So, you know, if there's no one here to throw it, you can't be helped. So. Swim cautiously, wear a life preserver. If you're going to go in the rocks, or even wear a helmet, you know. But right now it's too fast. I wouldn't venture down this at all. So.